Hi, it's Larry here of Xbox Live's Major Nelson. I'm here with Mikey Barr from the Xbox engineering team. Mike, Windows 10 launches this week and you are responsible for the team that's bringing Xbox Live, some of the great Xbox features to Windows 10. Tell me about that. That's right, I'm part of an engineering team that delivers the monthly updates for console and Windows, mm -hmm. the Xbox Live service, developer tools, everything essentially in the Xbox uh, platform except for the games. Mike, let's start with the Xbox app on Windows 10. That's where your gaming life really comes together, right? That's right, that's where you can look at your activity feed, screenshots, game DVR clips, all kinds of social activity. Mike, let's go ahead and take a look at the Xbox app. When I open it up for the first time, what am I gonna see? So when you open the Xbox app for the first time, you'll see on the left top side, the recent games you're playing. So very quick access to the games you're playing right now. Below that is a set of featured games that are offered in the Windows Store to discover new content that you can play all on Xbox Live. And then there's the activity feed. Now, if you're an Xbox One fan, you may recognize this, right? It's the central place where you see what your friends are doing, your activities are there. You can comment, like, just like you can on the Xbox console. On the right side, you'll see all your friends, both online and offline, and what they're doing. So here you can easily message them, invite them to a party, and get into a game session. So Mike, this is really regardless of where they're playing, on Windows 10 or Xbox, comes together right here and I can see what my friends are up to. That's right, Larry. Messaging, party chats, all work across Xbox One and Windows 10. Now Mike, there's a few more features that Xbox One owners may recognize. Game hubs are built into the Xbox app, and this is great because it's where consumers can go to learn all about games. They can follow a game, the developer can post, and they can get updates straight from the developer, straight to the fans. One of the other popular features from Xbox One is Game DVR, where I can record game clips and screenshots, right? Absolutely. So the ability to take Game DVR clips and screenshots is built into Windows 10. And once I have those, I can then share them out across my activity feed or wherever I want. That's right, because it's Windows, you can share it to any social network you want, including Xbox Live. And Mike, since this is built into Windows, I can use it with any game store, regardless of what game I'm playing, right? Absolutely right. Mike, Xbox Live was built on great multiplayer. How does that translate over to Windows 10? We're bringing the full Xbox Live multiplayer into Windows 10, and we're building upon that. So a game like Fable Legends, for example, you can play on Xbox One console and on Windows PC and play against each other on different platforms. Another feature that the community is really excited about is game streaming, where I'm gonna be able to stream my Xbox One games right to my Windows 10 PC, right? We think this is a great feature. So imagine you're in your living room and someone comes in and says they wanna watch their TV show. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, you have to get off and stop your gaming session. Well, here, you can take your Windows 10 PC anywhere in your home network, automatically stream your full experience and continue your gaming. So this works with any any Windows 10 PC, so you could have perhaps a Surface, you can go sit out on the back deck and, and you've got your full audio, video, chat, you've got everything right there, right? Absolutely. Plug your controller in and you're good to go. So Mike, how does this actually work? So when you're in your home network, you'll launch the Xbox app, you'll connect to your console, you'll select the game that you wanna play, and you'll click play from console, and it'll immediately start streaming the entire Xbox One experience to your Windows 10 PC. All I need to do is plug in a controller and I'm ready to go. That's it. Now Mike, in the upper left-hand corner here, I see my avatar. My avatar's back. Avatars are back in the Xbox app. You can click on your avatar, see the props that you have. When you post on your activity feed, it'll show your avatar, and you can go and customize all the clothes and props that you want. Now Mike, this all sounds great, but let's talk about the games. What games are gonna be coming to Windows 10? Yeah, so we'll have an Xbox Live-enabled version of Solitaire that ships to Windows 10. And we'll have other titles like Fable Legends, Gigantic, Gears of War, and of course, Minecraft. That's just the beginning of a long list of titles we're bringing to Windows 10. Mike, I've been testing out Windows 10. I'm part of the uh, Windows Insider program, but how does everyone else get it? It's easy. If you're running Windows 7 or later right now, you can go up and reserve a copy, and it starts deploying on July 29th. That's really exciting. And of course, you'll see right there on the Start menu, you'll see the Xbox app to all this great stuff we just talked about. Absolutely. Built right into Windows 10. All right, there we go. Windows 10 launching July 29th. I'm Larry Herb, Xbox Live's Major Nelson. For more details, check out Xbox Wire or my blog at majornelson.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.